I need to clean my palette this week. Good day. I did a bunch of experiments. So for our upcoming collaboration on May 4th, because we want that to be with us. The fourth, get it? Trying to figure out how to do a galaxy swipe with some nebula feels. So I'm working hard on that. I don't want to show you anything because collaboration on May 4th and now is not May 4th, blah, blah, blah. Tune in though, lots of wonderful people on that train. Then I'm playing with color art, primary elements. The lovely Sarah Taylor is working with and doing her melting pearls. But again, there's not, I don't want to show you stuff that I'm not 100% convinced it's going to work. <laughs> Although I do that every week. <laughs> and it sometimes works but that's you know that is my path and you can witness it if you want to that's all it doesn't have to work out every time but what i'm saying is i'm doing a bunch of little things here and there and my brain is full of ideas and what i want to try and what i want to do but i'm not there yet to show you my results so today i'm just gonna clean my palette, go back to my color palette that I like, that I feel confident with, and I just want to play around. Me and Dolly are ready. I hope you are too. Let me show you the colors. Main color will me, will be, will me, be, will be, me, me, be, me. Atelier blue, black or indigo. I just love that color. Still a little thick. It's the Atelier brand. It thickens up quite a bit. I think I've said that already, but... Ah, uh, yes. So I have another part of that because I want to use a lot. Maybe I want to be able to use a lot. That's why I have another one. What I think works so freaking awesome with the blue-black is Lakeside by this little piggy. So it is a little, you can, hmm, it's a little bit greener than you see now. I can see it with my eye, but I can't see it in the camera. So, same thing with pigments. Once you let them sit for a while, they thicken up a little bit. So all I do is put a little bit pouring medium in until it's better. Then I have a more tealy blue. Also this little piggy, it's Lagoon. This again is a little bit greener than you can see in the camera. I wonder if I can change that somehow. No, it stays that way. But that too is a little thick. That's better. Another blue, not sure if I'm going to use that again. This is Cool Heat by Fire Dots. Discount code Pixel Design Shop. Save yourself some money and share it with me. This is an interference gold by Golden. It appears white when it dries, it's gold and it will shift by the angle you look at. I also have some carbon black. I have Gold cell activator, Australian flow troll, and I have a black cell activator, Australian flow troll, and 
Amsterdam Oxide Black, one to one. Yes, I mix my Select Vader one to one. I like it when it's thick. I don't necessarily do that with the gold. That's a little bit thinner because I realized it sinks faster. So that is one to one and a half. While this is one to one and it still works. It's just, it reacts slower. Pillow paint is my Glidden Essentials. I got a can of the PPG that everybody's raving about. I found it way too thin, but remember guys, it always depends on where you are, what your weather conditions are, and what you prefer working with. The PPG is okay, but it's too thin for me. Uh, I got another can and it's sitting right there, open. And I just see if um what was I I have the can open wait till it thickens a little bit um and see maybe I like it then but the Glidden essentials I mean it's two dollars more and for me it's perfect so I'm in California on the coast so not hot but humid also, I don't know where the different paints are made. So if you're on the East Coast, maybe they have a slightly different recipe. So again, only because something works for somebody in the world doesn't mean it works for you. It's like with everything, right? So let's... Okay, Freunde, um, I'm trying to wing it, so I add my black in the line. Here's my interference gold. How about I make a wild background-ish thing and put a swipe on top? Um, let's spread that out a little bit. The blow dryer on low and cold. Just because I'm curious and I want to see how those two colors work together, I will put the lagoon on top. So it almost appears like it has a little bit of a purple shift to it. And let me swipe that out. Just with nothing. Make this part blue. So if we spin this out, you know that just this part here in the middle will show in the end. That's what I'm concentrating on. I really like 
sorry. I really like this part, but I know it will spin off. So let me close this part a little bit more. And I will use black cell activator. My blue black, my right side, my lagoon, and some of my interference gold. Oop. So, not convinced about this guy. I want to keep parts not busy and that's kind of my problem I keep saying that that I overdo things and it's so easy to overdo things because it's just so fun to play with the paint so I think I will do something on here and follow that path down so this stays black. I hope you saw that. All right, let me use because <laughs> I'm ignoring what I just told you. <laughs> I'm gonna use gold. Bring another color in. Put some black cell activator on top of that. Go with the blue black next, the right side, the lagoon, and interference gold. So I said here. So for the scooping and dragging, I found that these palette knives are best because it has a straight line and then it's a rounded corner. So you don't, it's not too, too harsh, if that makes any sense. So this time I put the black cell activator down first because I want it to be more dark. So the gold, not so dominant. Blue black. My right side and lagoon. And a tiny bit of interference. And then what did I say? <laughs> I wanted to fix this, right? See what I mean? It's black, but the gold still shows. This. 
it looks pretty wild. Yeah, it does. So my problem was this guy. I will put a swipe on that. And I will just have Flex Cell activator and interference board. Boom. And the boom. Then I'm gonna get rid of this guy somehow. this one more time Okay, let's spin this. Here's the thing, guys. I love parts of it. I love the colors, obviously. But, no, I can't. <laughs> I can't. So, that was BS. Dragging those lines out, even though I told myself, I don't want them, it's more complicated. So, eh, I really like this, and here's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I like those little cells popping up too. Um, yeah, but the composition, again, is not, can be better. 
this is what I do. I'm sorry if I offend anybody, but if I spend all this time, I want a painting that I would hang, you know, and not wait for somebody who might want to. So I will take some pictures um, and then do this again. Sorry, guys. It is pretty cool, but you get what I'm saying, right? 